Basketball is a huge part of the culture in Brooklyn, and Jack Ryan has strategies to the popular sport down to a T, as he's been playing for 50 years. How many little girls want to be like their sister? How many little brothers want to be like their older brother? So I went to him one day and said, teach me how to play. So he taught me how to play, and I fell in love with it. That's all I wanted to do was play basketball. pocket just like that will help you do so because if your elbow is there or there or there you're never going to get it in the same spot right here you have a much better chance then you're going to put the basketball in your right hand your left hand is just a guide or the balance hand so put that there left hand is just guide or balance hand now when you shoot you have to give the gooseneck that's what gives the basketball a rotation if it hits the front of the rim it will flip in if it hits the back of the rim no front of the rim skid in back of the rim flip in let's see what you got She did it. The small steps he has taken over the years to improve his skills led him to great heights and took him places he would never foresee. I elevated my basketball game was by playing at West 4th Street because that's where back in the day, back in the 80s, that's all the best talent. I was down the other end just boom, dunking the basketball. When they came this way, I went that way, boom, and I hear somebody yell out, uh-oh, we got a white boy dunking, we got a white boy dunking. As many basketball fans know, having too many fouls ejects the player. Jack knows firsthand that this holds true off the court as well. Yeah. Well, growing up, I was a Brooklyn knucklehead. Um, I was the type of guy that, you know, couldn't listen to authority, never thought I'd get caught in anything, wanted to do it my way. After being kicked off several teams, he said, That's it. I'm done with basketball, I'm done with coaches. I'm done with school, I'm going to go be the, the king of the parks. So that's what I did. Revisiting the small steps taken to pursue his career, Jack awaits another long journey ahead by going back to where it all began. Growing up in Brooklyn, playing on basketball courts like these was a huge part of Jack's childhood and it fueled his passion. As made apparent, nothing has changed despite the challenges he has faced over the years. Hey, Christina, I heard hey. you got mad skills. Hold that pen, two pens like that. I'm going to fit you with this little hat. All right, stay still, Christina. Did you ever spin three basketballs before? No. <laughs> you didn't, huh? All right, let's see if Christina can spin three at a time. All right, great job, Christina. That's one. Can she do two? Christina's got two. Can she do three? Hold on. Can Jack do three? All right, here we go. Way to go, Christina. Three basketballs up the same. My life changed in 1997 when I became a Harlem Wizard, and I got self-esteem back. I knew this is why I'm here on Earth and I knew I wasn't screwing this up like I screwed everything else up. Living as a performer poses many challenges as it is, but imagine balancing three, five, or even seven spinning basketballs on the body. With skills like these fueling his passion and confidence, he went as far as to leave this note on his parents' fridge. To everyone, I'm going to the top. Love, Blackjack. And I still have that letter. And. Um, I just, I just knew I was gonna do it. I was so, there was no negative. The negative was gone. The anger was gone. It was just all positive. But the struggles are not over on this long journey, while mainly relying on... Resilience. I've been knocked down many, many times. I just got knocked down again six, six weeks ago. I had my valve replaced in my heart. Um, but I'm back. I'm back playing basketball. I feel better than ever. And I'm ready to just keep going, awesome. inspiring kids. That's, that's what I really want to do. Now known as Black Jack Ryan, he has a documentary dedicated to him on the show Losers on Netflix. Despite the long journey he faces to recover from his actions, his small steps taken have transformed his attitude to shape the man he is today. The local, friendly celebrity from Brooklyn who shed his bad rep. I'm Christina Folsom reporting for the All-American High School Film Festival, New York.